What would happen if a deck of all spell cards faced a deck of all trap cards? And would a deck like that even work? So we dug through all of our spell and trap cards and crafted decks of the best ones we could find. One deck is all traps. Hope you didn't forget about these cards. And the other is all spells. He's never gonna see this coming. Which deck will reign supreme? Let's find out. I'll activate my right of Aramisir. I totally forgot that that was a spell card, like, sort of engine. Now huh. you have to deal with my brave token, Yami Yugi. Hello there, Pharaoh. What, that's 2,000 attack? Yes, 2,000 attack, 2,000 defense. Right. And uh, I also get to I'm not activating Fateful Adventure from my deck because it's in my hand! Oh, okay. So now, the first time when one of my, fate, my tokens would be destroyed by battle, they won't be. Interesting, okay, I do all this. I'll activate my Curse of Aramateer. Oh, okay, It's a what? special summon, an adventure token. We'll get his friend, Joey. And then, that my Fateful Adventure can activate to search for an equip spell. Okay. Because a monster got special summoned while I control my Fateful Adventure, I can search for an equip spell. Okay. I'll get my Draco back. The rideable dragon. Are all dragons not rideable? Not the same way Draco back is. Yeah, he is specifically rideable. What that means, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that sounded bad. <laughs> I'll equip, yes, I'll equip this token with my Draco back. It could it make it confusing in the future. Yeah. And Do then the tokens I, have any different qualities, or are they all? They're the same. They are okay. fairy, 2000 attack, 2000 defense, level four. And is this one also a fairy? Oh, that's a little... They're both fairies. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Then I'll activate my Supernatural Danger Zone. So if a non-effect monster is special summoned, I can target a card on the field and destroy it. Interesting duelist. I'll end my turn. That was a first turn. I draw. All right, well, I'm going to start off By with... By setting a bunch of cards. A few sets may or may not be happening. Let's start with... I'll set one card, two cards, three cards, four cards. Oh my gosh. Let's get it over with. Set the fifth one. Never. Five cards. Your move duel. All right. My first turn could literally have been like nothing else. <laughs> Draw. I'll activate my Draco Bax effect. The rideable dragon. I will target this card to return it to your hand. This card, you say? That card, I say. That's fine, duelist. I'll allow it. Okay, we'll see how much you allow. I'll enter battle. Battle has been entered, duelist. Brave token, attack directly. I activate. Prey of the Jirai Gumo. Mm. So I special summon it as a normal monster in this column, and then I can destroy a monster that you control that's in this card's column. Right. So I'm going to summon Prey of the Jirai Gumo, and then destroy your adventure token. That will destroy my token but that will activate the effects of my Supernatural Danger Zone and my Curse of Aramateer. Oh, yeah. Because you special summon a normal monster. So I'll target to destroy that card, and my Curse of Aramateer activates. If a, uh, if a monster I control is destroyed by battle or card effect, I can special summon one adventure token to either field. Oh, I don't know if I like the sound of that, so maybe I might have a little response of my own. We'll see. Let's see. So you're targeting this card, huh? Mm -hmm. How about I activate Paleozoic Allanoides? I can target a spell trap in the field, like Curse of Aramateer, and destroy it. Your curse is dispelled. Not necessarily. I'll activate Scapegoat. Oh, okay. I, I have to remember what the tokens are. And summon four sheep tokens. Ah, well, like, wait, okay, so yeah, they can be face off. off. I'm okay, here we go. Four sheep tokens, a bunch of Kaibas and a Yugi. <laughs> a bunch of Kaibas and a Yugi. And I'll activate the effect of my Fateful Adventure. Oh yeah, because you summon a token. I'll get my Starlit Papamon. Hmm. It's Liddy. That's a word that you youngsters get say, right? You get out right now. We are sick of you. Starlit Papamon. I'll end my turn. Draw for mine. Okay, so your sheep tokens at least are vulnerable. Although this won't be destroyed by the first battle, right? Right. Because it's equipped with a card, and that's thanks to Fateful Adventure. Fateful Adventure. Okay. I'll activate my angel statue Azurun. It special summons to the field. And doesn't do really anything else. But if it gets destroyed by battle, I can destroy the monster that destroyed it. Effective that. danger zone! Oh, okay, dude. My danger zone will target your Jirai Gumo. Oh yeah, and he gets destroyed. Well, what if I use this? My Imperial Custom. Ugh. Face up continuous traps I control can't, actually just all continuous traps, 
can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, except Imperial Custom. It Fine. can be destroyed. And next, I'm going to chain Paleozoic Allanoids in the graveyard. Since I activated a trap card, I can special summon it. It's gonna actually be treated as a normal monster. Not a trap. And it's not a trap card. It's also unaffected by monster effects, although I strongly doubt that that is going to be coming up. I don't even know how I could do that. Enter the battle phase. Paleozoic Allanoids will attack this token. Goodbye, Shoot Token. Sheep. I mean, Kaiba. Azurun will attack this one. What do you got against Yugi? And Jirai Gumo, your token. I'll take 100 damage. Deal a little bit of damage. Oh, no, not so far. Hey. Oh, oh. oh well, there he goes. You take right. 100. I'll go to main phase two. And we're going to set one card, two cards, three cards. Your move. I don't know why I was surprised by that. Of course they're all traps. Yeah, I mean, it can't be anything else. Draw! For those who might be wondering, by the way, I am able to set these trap cards, but um, if these get like flipped face down or something, they have to be reset. And if there's nowhere to reset them, then they'll go to the grave. You know? I'll activate my Draco back, targeting your Imperial Custom. Oh, to return it to my hand? Yes. You want to return it to my hand, you say? I do. Well, that's really kind of you and all. Activate the effect of Apophis, the Swamp Deity. Mm. I can special summon it as a normal monster. It's still a trap card. And then negate the effects of face-up cards you control up to the number of other continuous traps I control at the end of this turn. All right. So I summon Apophis, the Swamp Deity, and since I have three, three others, two others actually, because it's not a trap. Oh yeah, this is. Three. Drago back. Fateful Adventure and Supernatural Danger Zone will all be negated until the end of the turn. I can't chain this to that, right? I'll activate Hidden Armory. Oh, okay. Send the top card of my deck to the graveyard and I can search for an Are you running card. Remove Trap? I mean, I know it's relevant, but like... <laughs> <laughs> to answer remove your question, trap. I am most definitely running Remove Trap. Remove Trap. Now, I'll switch my Sheep Token to Attack Position and equip it with... Moon Mirror Shield. Yeah. Now, in damage calculation, my sheep token will gain all of the attack of whatever monster it's battling plus an extra hundred. So it'll always win. Cool. Cool. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Token attack. Wait, that should be more clear. Sheep token attack Jiragamo. Okay, so you'll have 2,200. I'll take 100 damage, but thanks to my Imperial Custom, Jirai Gumo can't be destroyed by battle. Ah. That's right, face-up continuous traps can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, except Imperial Custom. That card was made for trap monsters. Yes, and like Uriah. But don't worry, you'll have your effects back next turn. That's Brave cool. token. Attack, oh. Oh, I, I wasn't, all annoyed. I, I, I looked at it and I wasn't 100% sure how to pronounce it. 800. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna call it all. Oh, the noids. Or maybe it's noids. Noids. <laughs> all the noids. And I'll end my turn. I draw duelist. I set one card face down duelist. Okay, so you're protected. Oh god. Oh god. Hmm. My field's more difficult to navigate than one would think. I will enter the battle phase. Yes. I'm going to have Apophis the Swamp Deity attack your adventure token, and nothing will happen to either of us. That's true, you can't be destroyed by battle and I don't get destroyed by first battle. Now, Prey of the Jirai Gumo can attack your adventure token. Goodbye, my token. It's the only survivor. It's once. destroyed and you'll take 100 damage. And now I'll have Angel, Sta El Angel Statue Azurun attack your sheep token. Oh, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna take it then? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I end my turn. All right. Draw! I know what I'll do. I'll activate Bait Doll! Hmm, okay, do it. I target this trap card and I force it to activate. If it can't be activated, it gets sent to the graveyard. Well, thankfully for me, it's my Paleozoic, All Annoides. Oh, it's All Annoides. Which lets me target a spell and trap, a spell or trap, and destroy it. Let's get rid of. Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. I'll get rid of your. Moon Mirror Shield. Bait Doll gets sent back to the deck, and then I'll have to use Moon. Well, how, how does that resolve, actually? Well, Bait Doll goes in a new chain, Moon Mirror Shield. Okay. So. I was hoping to so yeah, put it on top and then shuffle yeah. it. Yeah. So you got to pay 500 and put Moon Mirror Shield on the top or bottom, or does it even get I believe it just has to. I can go top or bottom. Okay. I'm not, you go on the bottom of this deck. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you don't want it anymore. 
Well, now my sheep token just has zero attack. It does. Switch into defense mode, and I'll end my turn. I draw for turn. Now I can deal some real damage to you. You don't have to do that. I activate Abyss Stungray. I can special summon it as an effect monster. Why is it, so it just, this just says effect monster, and this says normal monster. I thought, okay. Some of them are normal monsters, some of them are effect monsters. Well, that's fine. I'll special summon Abyss Stungray. Oh, actually, I'll activate it, and yes. I'll chain Paleozoic Allanoides. Mm -hmm. So Allanoides is summoned. And Abyss Stungray. Danger Zone! Because that is a normal monster. That is true. You get to destroy a card. Danger Zone? But you'll have destroy to destroy it in my Imperial Custom. Imperial Custom is destroyed. But is it too little, too late, Duelist? Maybe. I enter the battle phase. What's my weakest monster? Paleozoic Allanoids attack his token. Goodbye. And now I'll attack you directly with Abyss Angel statue, Azarune. I don't know what their stats are. I can't read it. I'm, uh, 1800 attack, 1900 attack. It'll be enough to kill. Oh, that's game? Yes. Oh, he bugging. 18, 19, 2021. Oh. This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. So as you guys know, Father's Day is coming up and I was actually wondering what should I get my dad? And I decided a Ridge Wallet would probably be perfect. As you guys know, I have had this thing for ages. It's really cool, I like it a lot. It's slim, it's sleek, it's got a design I really like. It holds up to 12 cards, it's RFID protected, it's got a cash strap, there's all kinds of benefits. And they just came out with this orange wallet, actually. So this orange color is something that's very vibrant, it's something that they haven't really done before, but I really like it, and it's even got an orange key case that goes with it. And honestly, I'd say it's a great pick for anybody who's looking for that type of gift. You can find these over on ridge.com slash APS. In fact, just for Father's Day, almost everything on the site is discounted. You can get up to 40% off on a lot of different things. Wallets, key cases, heck, even this pin that they just released. If you guys want to check that out, go on over to ridge.com slash APS. You can pick from a myriad of different designs. Thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Let's not just start off safe and activate Photon Sanctuary. Ooh. I'll get two tokens with 2,000 attack and zero defense. They cannot attack, and uh, I can only summon other light monsters. I keep forgetting that they can show their faces. Yeah, it's kind of because they're light. And then I will set one card face down and end my turn. Will you do it? I'll draw. Oh, God. This will be a different looking duel, I think. I'll set one card face down, another card face down, and then ooh, another card face down. If you're gonna set all five, just do it. Yeah, I'm picking the order, all right? <laughs> I set five, your move. All right. I may not have my adventure token right now, but it doesn't mean I'm devoid of like high, uh, high attack tokens. Yeah, it don't, doesn't seem that way. Activate one time passcode. I can actually special summon a light level four, 2000 attack, 2000 defense token. Okay. In defense position. This one will be oh, it's only in defense. Okay, so those are the photons, and this is a okay. Yes, it's got good, it. It's good, nice, and confusing. <laughs> now, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's still that one. Okay, all right. Switch my two photons. Uh, they can switch, right? Yeah, they just can attack. They are now in attack position, and I'll end my turn. Okay, well, during your end phase, I'm going to activate my Abyss Stungray. It summons as a 1900 attack effect monster. It can't be destroyed by battle. Ah, it's, God. Is this the only, it, it's so weird. This is a trap monster that's a effect monster. The other ones are normal monsters. I dropped it. Well, I don't want to look at it, so I'm gonna let you struggle. Ow. Yeah, he's got 1900 attack. All right. That's weaker than all my monsters. I draw for turn. All of them. I draw, for turn. I draw for turn. Your monster is weak. I draw for turn. I'll switch my abyss stung ready defense. Coward! And set a card face down. Your move. Draw for turn. It can't be destroyed by battle either, so. What do you mean it can't be destroyed by battle? That's yeah, its effect. Wow. This can't be destroyed by battle. Wow. But it can be destroyed by card effect, right? Yeah, I can. I'll activate my. Ekibayo Drag Move. And equip it to your Abyss Stung Ray. So now it cannot attack, and during the second the second turn after this activation, it gets destroyed. Rude, but okay. I'll switch my token to attack position, and I'll end my turn. Since he doesn't want to be destroyed by battle. Yeah, but. Well, now he can't, now he doesn't. It's okay, he was weaker than no. What if I activate another Abyss Stung Ray? So I'm attack position. It's still this weaker. This would have been better to summon the problem in your end phase, but that's okay. I mean, still, I mean what's, what's it gonna do? Be weak? I set my card face down. Your move duelist. 
All right, draw. All right, this is the first turn underneath my Dragmore. Kiki Bio Dragmore. But neither one of your stun rays can be destroyed by battle. That's true. I'll set a card face down. Well, I guess I can do some damage in. I'll go to battle. Battle it. My token attacks your attack position stun ray. I take 100 damage. On the board, y'all. Yeah, 100 damage is 100 at a time. At least 80 turns to win. I'll deck out before then. All I need is 80. That's all I need. That's a win con. Okay. And then I'll set two cards face down. Hey, I'm supposed to get a trap deck. Now in my right. spells are more flexible than traps. All right, dude. So I draw. I switch my abyss stun ray to defense mode. Coward. And are they still traps? Yes. Okay. This card is also still a trap card. I have to end my turn, which means that this abyss stun ray does get destroyed. And Drakmord returns to my hand. That's fine. I end my turn. Draw. Hmm. They all have 2,000 attack, huh? That's right, except these two can't attack. They're just here to look pretty. Funny and how aren't that they works. pretty? Oh, it's me, Bait Doll! Oh, okay. Force the activation of that trap. Ah, yeah, okay, so that's what Bait Doll does, huh? That's exactly what it does. Thankfully, it's Paleozoic Allanoides. I feel like it's always that card. It's always Paleozoic Allanoides. I target a spell or trap on the field and I'll get to destroy it. Let's destroy this one. I'll activate Enemy Controller. Oh. And use effect. I'll tribute one of my tokens. These can be tributed, right? Yup. <laughs> I'll take control of your abyss stun ray. Well, that's fine, Duelist. Or at least it'll have to be. Fine. And you go back to the deck. Bait all shuffles back in. My cards always come back. Ah, lost card. Don't look! Oh, okay, sorry. Was, you looked more! I was trying to say I didn't pick anything up. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, switch my Abyss Stung Ray to attack position. I'm lost. I'm a two away. And I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Abyss Stung Ray, attack directly for 1900. I guess I won't take 80 turns after all. And then, attack for 2000, token. I'll move to main phase two. Now, I'll tribute your monster. I can't do that. That's I was gonna say, I was scared. Like, what's, what's he got? What tributes it? I cannot do that. All right. I'll end my turn. Back to me, Abyss Stung Ray. Now you get your weak monster back. I draw for turn. Now that's worked for me. I switch my Abyss Stung Ray right back to defense <laughs> position. And I'm gonna just set a card face down and end my turn. Because unfortunately, this is the situation we're faced with. Draw for turn. I don't have a situation. This this is fine for me. I mean, you can't get over this Abyss Stung Ray. Right now. What, what do you mean? I've, 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 I've got you on the 4,000 life points yeah. underneath them. I'm not worried. <laughs> okay. I activate the move trap. Oh, Targeting okay. your stung ray. You wish. I activate fake trap. Are we really using fake trap and remove trap in 2023? That's the kind of that's the kind of games we do on this channel. Yeah. This is what happens? If my trap card would be destroyed, fake trap can be destroyed in its place. That okay? Yes, it has to be. That's right. So abyss stung ray is still here, bitch. And it can't be destroyed by battle. Don't get ahead of yourself. So we're gonna sit. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're, you survive for now. I'll end my turn. I'll draw for mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. What if I just set another card face down? Of course you are. It's, your whole deck are things that have to be set. Your move. <laughs> draw for turn. I like to play Harpy's Feather Duster to destroy oh. all of your spell and trap. Destroy this one's gonna destroy hurt. Them. Destroy them. I say no. I activate my dark bribe. It negates your spell, but you will get to draw a card. See, I'm a kind guy. I'm giving you a gift. I don't want the card. I want the spell. I'm bribing. I do feel bribed. I can't have my trap cards getting destroyed just yet. To list. That wouldn't be okay. That wouldn't be very cash money. No, it would not. I'm not under your spell just yet, <laughs> but you're caught in my trap. Am that was poetry. Come on. You can I? We'll see, won't we? I'll activate my Ekibayo Drakmord and equip it to your Stung Ray. This time, I'm going to have to say no. I activate Solemn Judgment. Mm. I'll pay half my life points. I don't have too many of those left. But it's worth it because it will negate your Ekibayo Drakmord and destroy it. I activate Twin Twisters. Oh, rude. Yeah, but you don't like that. Discard this. I'm targeting your Abyss Stung Ray and this face down. This face down. Yeah, face down. I'll pay half my life points for my wow! second to negate your twin twisters. I have to keep this abyss stung right on the field. 
it's really the only thing keeping me alive. I, I can hardly believe what has transpired here. You'll never get rid of it. Although the moment you do at this point, I think I'm actually out of ways to stop it. I'll activate Creature Swap. Wow. So you had that all along, huh? I will give you my Photon Token. I'll take your Stun Ray. Their positions cannot be changed this turn. That is a very sad part about all this. Now I have my token attack your token. Oh, that's dirty. Hmm. Oh, this is trouble. Because we'll both be destroyed. This is the one that can't attack anyway, right? Yep, it just, it has, it has to sit. I really didn't think it had two solemn judgments. I'll activate Paleozoic Hallucigenia. I, I can target a face up monster in the field and have its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. Hmm. I target this token. Ooh, that's not bad. So that'll drop me down to 1,000. Drop it down to 1,000. Oh, that, that, messes, that messes this up badly. I'm just trying to stay alive, actually. Because uh, it doesn't exactly solve my problem. It's just... Let's see. So, uh, goodbye, my token. And I'll take 1,000. I'm on the board. Uh, I'm, I'm so holding mad. on. I'm so upset by that play. I'll end my turn. I draw. Set one card face down. This can't attack, right? It cannot. I end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll switch the stung ray to attack position. Hmm, but do you actually have a way to attack with the stung ray? Yeah, I'm gonna declare an attack on, on the token. What are you planning? I don't know. In response? It's fine. Damage calculate. Ah, oh, what do you have, Duelist? Forbidden Lance. Ah. I'm go your monster is now unaffected by other spell and traps, but it will lose 800 attack. Fine. No. So it goes down to 1,200? Yes. The token is removed, and that means that I'll take 700 damage. <sighs> I'm at 300, and I won't let this end this way. I will not be defeated at my own tournament. Pick your own card. I will turn. not be defeated by my own trap monster. <laughs> I set one card face down and end my turn. Enter battle. Battle enter. Abyss Stung Ray. Attack. Activate. Of course not. Paleozoic Allanoides. I'll target Abyss Stung Ray to destroy it. Then I'll chain my Paleozoic Hallucigenia. Since I used a trap, I can summon it to the field. I'll end my turn. I'll draw. Not helpful, but... Ender Battle Phase, Hallucigenia attack you directly for 1,200. I'll take it. Your move, dude. Brave keeping that 1,200 attack monster like that. Oh, Draw. Got uh, it. I play Hidden Armory. Oh, okay. Well, that's getting there. We'll send and we'll search. I'll get my Moon Mirror Shield. Oh, that's going to be trouble. I know what you're planning. Eventually. If you can't do any damage this turn, then I'm safe. You are safe. I am my turn. I draw for mine. I switch my monster. Boo, coward. Deal some more damage. Set a card in my turn. Draw for turn. I have only 300 life points. 300 life points to his name. You're only one life point short, whatever you would say. I'll end my turn. You trying to bait me, dude? Maybe. Maybe I want you to set more cards. Maybe I'll take some of the bait. Activate Zoma the... Oh, wait, the summons in defense. Zoma the spirit. Oh, okay. I forgot that. Okay. And end my turn. Draw for turn. I'll activate Raigeki. Oh. To destroy your monsters. Because they are monsters. How about I use my Imperial Custom? I'll protect my trap monsters, though Hallucigenia will still be destroyed. Alright, you maybe just take a one for one. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm angry, but it's, I'm not mad. I'll end my turn. I draw. Let's switch Zoma the Spirit to attack position and enter the battle phase. Attack you directly for 1800. Gotta take it. Bring you down to 4,000. We'll set one card face down and end my turn. All right. Draw. I'll activate Remove Trap. Okay. Targeting your custom. My custom is destroyed. Yeah, boy. But only if you can deal 300 damage this turn. Yeah, we didn't do it. I end my turn. Oh, okay. I'll enter the battle phase and attack you with Zoma the Spirit for 1,800. I'll take it. I'll set one card and end my turn. Draw. I'll activate Raigeki. Wow. Get him out of here. Get him out. Hmm. No, okay, Zoma the Spirit is destroyed. You get out of here, Zoma. All right, I end my turn. You still have a way to deal with any damage. Yeah. I draw for turn. I'm going to summon Apophis the Swamp Deity. Oh, it won't be negating anything, because I don't have cards. In attack position. I just realized that I could have summoned it to negate Rangeki. Oh. That would have been but oh well. Enter battle phase, attack you for 2,000. I have to take it. But I mean, phase two. Now I'm losing. Draw for turn. I'll activate. Mm. 
Rite of Aramis here. Was that what you were waiting for the whole time? As you can see, it is my first time playing it. Well, lucky you, you've baited all the solemn judgments. It is behind you. What is it? I solemn for 150. Let's get Joey. Joey, Joey. If you notice, I didn't uh, activate a fateful adventure huh. because it was already in my hand. <sighs> Yeah, that happened. Next, I'll equip my token with Dracoback, the rideable dragon. You're gonna mount it and you're gonna ride it. Ride, it'll ride the angry waves. Dracoback effect, targeting a Pophis. Pophis, huh? That's fine. My Pophis is returned to my hand. Uh -huh. Then, I'll equip my token with Moon Mirror Shield. Oh, extra rude, are we? It's the rudest token. He's a rude dude with a bad dude. Enter battle. Token with 2,000 attack. End this duel. You wish it was that easy. I did. I really did wish. I activate Statue of Anguish pattern. Oh. It special summons in defense position with 2,500 defense points. And then I get to redeclare. Token, attack Statue of Anguish pattern. Now activate Imperial Custom, oh. which means it can't be destroyed by battle. Oh, that's not going to protect me next turn. But I get one turn of rest. Hey, why well, won't this protect me next turn? Well, next turn, I'm assuming you'll bounce and then just kill Oh, him. I'm assuming more. Okay, I'll end my turn. I'll draw. All right. This could be helpful. I'll set one and two and end my turn. Draw for turn. Mm. Mm. It's really interesting, huh? No. Oh, I did not. I'll activate Dracoback's effect, targeting your Imperial Custom. Return it to my hand. Fine duelist, Imperial Custom returns to the hand. I'll end my turn. You'll end your turn, you say. All right, then do it. Allow me to end this duel with my draw. I think the draw isn't the thing that'll end it. But I've got a plan. I activate Apophis the Swamp Deity and special summon it to the field. And its effect will negate the effects of face-up cards you control up to a number of other continuous traps I control. That'll only be one. It'll negate Fateful Adventure. All right. And now, since I summoned a trap monster that activates the effect of Statue of Anguish Pattern to destroy a card in the field, say goodbye to your adventure token. My token. And not only is it destroyed, but so are its equip spells, which leaves you wide open. Yeah. Apophis the Swamp Deity, attack his life points directly and end this duel. I just want to say I tried, guys. I tried. <laughs> trap monsters are better than spells, all right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do, man. I... Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Let us know any other mm -hmm. fun, crazy duel challenges we can do next. Because if you guys didn't tell, we've been kind of like doing a lot of them. So, uh... That's right. We we played fake, Remove Trap and Fake Trap, so you know we're crazy. I feel like we deserve a like for that. We, like, we, you, we're insane. We deserve a like for that. And they both resolve. Yeah. All right, that's going to be it. Drop a comment. Let us know what you thought. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Uh, click the links to check out other cool dual challenges, and we'll see you in the next one. Pass turn.